This is a tutorial for thatquiz.org. I selected this resource because it is easy to use. It already contains some pre-made quizzes, but you can also make your own and customize them for your classes. Students can access it from a laptop, iPad, or phone. The purpose of this resource is to provide math practice using technology. It can easily be done in class or at home. It is simple for a teacher to monitor students' progress and understanding, and it can be used to assist teachers with planning. The target audiences um, would be for the teacher to use it to create quizzes and then for the students to take the quizzes or practice with it. This is what the main page on that teachers.org or that quiz.org looks like. Um, once you've created a an account and logged in, it will look like this. The first thing you'll need to do is to create a new class. So we're going to call this fifth hour. And we'll put a couple students in. Okay, then you're ready to, it's that simple once you get students entered to create a quiz. I'm going to look over here and I actually I'm not going to do a quiz, I just want my students to um, use this for extra practice. Maybe we're working on exact values and trig. So I pick a topic over here, it will generate questions for me but I can customize them a little bit. Um, I can choose how many questions, so we're going to go with 20. I can choose a difficulty level, um, 4 would be harder. I can choose to set a timer or not. We're not going to. And then I can choose um, different things along here with every type of question so I can customize them to exactly what we're doing at the moment. So let's say we're doing sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And I want to quiz them on their exact values for these. Um, I can leave it in degrees. Right now it's cotangent of 150 degrees. I can do only um, radians or I can mix it up. We're going to go ahead and do that. The next thing you'll need to do is title it. So we'll call this um, exact value practice. I can choose to add this to um, all of my classes that if I have multiple classes set up, or I can whatever class is currently on, I can just assign it to that class. So now I can see that I have fifth hour. They have a quiz or a practice over exact values. And if I would choose to um, assign this to them as homework for the evening, they need this or in class, all they need is this code. So I'm just going to highlight and copy it. Um, normally I'd probably put it on the board and then they'll just go to thatquiz.org. This is the main screen. They do not need a login, a password. They don't need any of that. All they need is the test code. Let me delete that. Let's try that again. So I just copy and pasted it. They'll hit enter. They'll choose a name from the list, they'll find their name and they're ready to go. They can take the quiz, they pick one, it goes on automatically. Um, once they're finished, it'll show them their score, it'll show what they've missed. Back on the page for the teachers. Once I have students that have taken it, I'm going to pick a different hour here. Once students have taken it, I can choose to go back and look at that. So maybe I've um, either done it as a quiz or as a homework assignment. I can go back and I can pull up grades and it'll show me this student, um, how many questions they've answered, how many or which ones they had incorrect. So if I consistently see that, hey, question number one is popping up and they're not getting this, I know I need to do a little more work on that. So I can check grades that way. I also can go over here. I, I highlight which quizzes I want or which practice um, sets I want to do and then I can look at this and it will give me um, their scores as a class and, and their average. So it's real easy to monitor and see what they're doing or how they're doing. Um, something else that I can do, we'll go back to fifth hour. So all of these are options for creating your own. Lots of choices. The other thing that you can do, um, you can choose to share your quizzes but you can also choose to browse. And so let's say I want some practice on congruent triangles for a geometry class. And I now have all these, I have pages of options. Um, I believe if I scroll down it'll show me six pages worth of options that other people have made. And so I can click on it and look at it. Say, yeah, that's not exactly what I wanted. We'll close out of that one. Let's try this one. I look at it and say, hey, that's a great one. It's already made. I'm going to use it. So all I have to do is come back to that one and click the Assign button. 
And it now assigned it to the class that I have pulled up. And so once again, I give them this code and they are ready to go. The ISTE standards that were addressed with this um, technology are Teacher 2D, which is to provide students with multiple and varied formative and summative assessments aligned with content and technology standards, and to use these resulting, the resulting data to inform learning and teaching. I also utilized um, the Teacher Standard uh, 5A, which is to participate in local and global learning communities to explore creative applications of technology to improve student learning.